Ladies and gentlemen, we are reviewing Jean Rickne Bellagarde. I have no idea how you say this name. Obviously, uh, my French guys, if you are watching, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments right there, man. We are looking at a CM that is actually looking like N'Golo Kante in his prime. Literally 45,000 coins, apparently, and 87 pace, insane uh, pace right there. Very, very nice card overall. And we are looking at 3 star 3 star. This card would have been insane if it was 4 star 4 star. Nonetheless, a very, very nice box to box, if not even a ball winner right there, man. You do slap something like that uh in terms of a chem style we're gonna actually see what's the best chem style suited from uh, as i am doing uh, you guys' teams uh, i build your teams out soon by the way so yeah we are gonna review this and we have been doing the gameplay videos man so please as i said smash like subscribe i have been enjoying it a lot man so yeah recently uh so yeah we're gonna jump over to this belagard card is it belagarde belagard i'm not too sure how to pronounce him but i'm just gonna say jean right there jean hopefully that is his name nonetheless we're gonna see what people are adding for him. They add an anchor, which is kind of weird. Why would you add an anchor? Let's see what an anchor gets him. He can go too explosive as well. Now, if you're using this guy as a box to box, I think he'll be absolutely brilliant if you add an engine for him. As a box to box, he's going to be absolutely brilliant. But if you probably want to um, have him obviously more defensive, I think the best would be uh, Shadow or evidently um, Anchor as people are adding. So a Shadow gets him to an 88 rated CDM, uh, as you can see right there. So yeah, that is actually insane. What does an anchor do? Um, an anchor gets him to an 88 rated CDM as well, but insane physical and defending stats as well as pace. So you can choose if you want him as a ball winner. I think um, anchor is actually really, really nice. I will not lie. If not shadow. Firstly speaking, I'm using this guy probably going to be as a box box. So I probably... It's between shadow and an and, uh, and engine. Be, be between uh, shadow and engine. I think the best bet would probably be actually adding a shadow, man. Just to get the best out of him. I mean, it is a defensive card, you know what I mean? So yeah, we will probably add a shadow for him. This is actually a brilliant card. You know what, boys? Actually, thinking of it now, if you want to use this card or get the best out of him, you want him to go explosive due to the fact that this card will be insanely fast. Because I have do noticed what is his body type right here. He is uh, currently an average body type that is 5'8", so he's 5'8", he's small, compact right there. This is literally in Golo Kante, Bruh. if not on steroids, bro. <laughs> literally add an engine, I want to add an engine, let's see what he does. We are going to jump into champs, this is the current team I am rocking, we're going to add an engine right there, man. I am obviously rocking that team because I want to try and get him on 3k, you know, to try to get the best out of the player that I'm actually reviewing. So we're going to slap an engine, get him on explosive, let's see how this card runs, man. Okay, we are reversing this man, predominantly a Premier League team, man. We're going to see exactly how this card feels five foot eight is very very small man so dribbling wise and pace wise should be amazing okay very very nice let's check that pass pretty standard pass by the way boys i will definitely do a tier list on all the winter wild card cards so do comment down below if you want to see that uh because they've released a lot of them so i will do a tier list on all of them you guys seem to like the tier list videos we are also playing in a three four two one i think that's how you Say that I don't know what exactly it's a three back, but he's playing CM alongside uh, Root Hullet. so very very compact as I said, and feels very very quick on the ball right there. Okay, close dribbling seems somewhat decent. Gameplay is very heavy though, like you know when it's when Jorginho is not turning, the gameplay is heavy. Okay, lovely transition right there. lovely lovely dribbling man okay still has the ball oh unlucky this type of card you kind of want to have him on balanced you don't want anything no um custom tactics or uh, sorry uh instructions for him because he's more or less going to be uh, i wouldn't say the ball winner because ball winner at five foot eight is not the play let's just be completely honest he needs to be someone that is a box box like renato sanchez um like your small cms you know what i mean okay let's check there very very nice pace very nice pace right there ball roll cuts in still has the ball shows good strength right there okay lovely interception from him okay intercepts it again we're just kind of seeing how he is you know seems very op though good change of play Okay, we are currently playing him in this format, as you can see on the left CM role, and it's not really working. I don't know, man. Um, I'm trying to get through this guy's defense, and you know what? I'm actually going to try him in a 4-3-2-1 with three CMs. Now, reason being is because you can play LCM, you can have your ball winner in the middle, 
like the likes of Root Hullet. And then we can actually um, sub out Lacazette because, yeah, we can put Trippier right there at RCM. So let us see how he does that in that LCM spot. You know, if you want to run a 4 one 2 2 slash 2 he's that type of player in my personal opinion. I don't think he's a ball winner. I think he's more or less a box-to-box -box, uh, kind of CM, you know. The passing has just been absolutely abysmal from him, I can't lie. And also, he feels a little bit generic in terms of running, man. I don't know if it's just how heavy the gameplay is. But man, oh man, it doesn't feel um, compact and like... Doesn't feel like a cante at all, I won't lie. Okay, good ball there. Lovely, we can all go back. This is a perfect game to um, actually situate him in because I feel like this man is absolutely compact, man. Very, very good defense from him. Even though if he is playing like a rat. <laughs> very, very nice. Gets the ball right there. And that's just what you need from a, a CM right there. Someone that can quickly get the ball and quickly turn out. You don't want an absolute truck, you know, like a Milinkovic Savage. Very, very nice pace right there. Oh, my days. How are you missing that, bro? Who is that? There's no ways. He did absolutely everything to get that assist. But then, unfortunately, it was Silas that actually missed that ball. Okay, good try. Good try right there, man. Lovely stuff. That's what you need from a CM. Someone that can at least take a shot, you know, on target. Speaking about on target, oh, nearly gets his goal. Unlucky, man. Flip. We get our goal right there, Jorginho, man. Come on. Okay, very, very nice interception, man. I'm loving his interceptions. Cannot lie. Also, the way he exits out of the intercept, you know. Very nice ball. Oh, what a slow shot, man. That's literally... Belagade robbed of two assists, bro. Nah, I won't lie to you. I say robbed. It might be me, but damn, why is that shot so soft, bro? Oh, lovely tackle. Let's go, brother. Let's go. Let's see this ball right there. Beautiful stuff, man. Okay. Oh, we we, we take the win, man. We take the win. He was actually very, very successful and very pivotal right there towards the end. I do like that from a CM, man. Definitely. Uh, did feel a little bit generic in terms of how he turned and stuff. I actually just want to see something. Because Ronaldo Sanchez felt the exact same way. I always thought Ronaldo Sanchez felt the generic. So I just want to completely see what... Um, so I want to see what he is. Uh, so he also had body type average. That makes complete sense. So who actually is very, very... Who's that new CM? I need to see... Um, let's go to popular. He's, he's somewhere here. Someone that's, that, that's kind of like a CM that is compact kind of fast Gwindos is someone that is in my opinion very very okay does he also have he has high and average okay that's very interesting high and average what's the difference between high and average and average is high and average like i have no idea i'm not too sure there but it kind of makes sense um i feel like the more average pe people uh like in terms of cms they they kind of not necessarily turn slow but they are still somewhat slow you know um even though they're fast it doesn't make sense i don't know because if you look at uh, Kante, Kante is obviously a very, very compact guy and he's always just been a unique body type, as you can see right there. Um, so yeah, he's always been very, very um, compact, you know. So that makes complete sense. If you do have an average CM, just do bear in mind, sometimes they kind of, even though they're fast, they they, they move a little bit slowly, if, uh, slower, if that makes sense. Nonetheless, a very, very nice card. I think he won the uh, ball five times. Obviously, me dribbling and stuff, I lost it 12 times, I think, from him. So, yeah, <laughs> that is my bad. Nonetheless, very, very nice card in terms of the price. He links to a lot of League One players, and he's kind of like literally a bit of Sanchez, if that makes complete sense. So, I definitely say pick this man up. In my personal opinion, the dilatant balance did not feel like... 93 and 93 uh, 96 balance i don't know man it just didn't feel like that he did turn a little bit slower or slower could be because of gameplay that could be the case but if you are using him as a box box go engine if you're using him as a ball winner like a out and out cdm go shadow i've been a boy metamark smash like subscribe we'll check you lads in the very next video cheers boys